But how flexible is Drupal if you want to build plugins or any kind of extensions? Uh, it's, it's really to do that. So that, that's my sort of primary sort of thing, I guess. So I, I consider myself being sort of not a full stack developer. Right. But most of the time, I'm sort of writing custom modules for, for sites. So um, there is a whole library, like thousands of, of plugins or modules for Drupal to add extra functionality. Okay. Um, and so in the case of you know, maybe you want something quite bespoke yeah. or something that doesn't exist, yeah. then you can just start writing your own. Right. And, um, and they are really, really sort of, once you sort of figure out how to do it, um, it's just, you know, when you install Drupal by default, you get uh, a modules directory and they just start adding your own sort of custom, custom code. Okay. And is that, is that something that you do quite a lot of at Microserve? Yeah, quite a lot of that. I think that's probably my primary sort right. of thing is, is module building. Do, do you guys have like a suite of, of modules that you, that you use um, mm-hmm. or that you've developed yourself uh, on, on various projects? Yeah, I think we've, most of us have got sort of preferred sort of modules. Uh, we've got our handbook, which is a, a triple site that we use internally okay. for the whole of our documentation. So in there, we've sort of got some sort of recommended modules that we tend to use. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We do have, or we used to have, maybe coming back, like our own distribution. Mm-hmm. So it's sort of uh, the new version is pretty much a composer file okay. with core and there are X, Y, and Z modules that we use frequently uh, with some existing configuration that we can sort of reuse uh, rather than play from scratch every time, which is quite nice. Awesome. 